We're now leaving. Uh, it's called Camping Rural San Marcia. And we're off to another little campsite. Well, it's not little, is it? It's probably more commercialised. Um, 12 minutes down the road. It's right at the, uh, the base of a beautiful valley in Odessa that we want to uh, explore some more. We've done two because it's the weekend and it's Friday and Saturday it tends to get quite busy. All parked up and ready for our next activity at Camp in Bielsa. What I've just done though is I've just checked the electricity using my device again and there's a problem this time so I'll just show you what, what that is. So you can see there there's only one light which means sort of live and neutral reverse. What I need to do, therefore, turn this around. But that's not going to work. So I actually can't turn it around to make it correct. But I can't do anything about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. I can't, I can't change it. Is that going to be tripping? No. It it's, just, it's just not good for appliances. Oh. Time to do a bit of exploring. We're going to ride into the town and then up to up the Pinetta Valley. <laughs> Pinetta Valley? Yeah, the Pinetta Valley. Ooh. What's wrong with that? I don't know. Pinetta. Pinetta. <laughs> right, so now we're off on a ride up the Pinetta Valley. <laughs> Michelle's taking the mickey because she knows I can't pronounce any of these things. Oh, I don't know any better. <laughs> so, let's go. Let's see if you're right. <laughs> What, as we ride through, is it going to shout out its name? Yeah. Uh, are we going to know? Perfect place for a swim. That'd be great floating down there. village was super steep wasn't it? Oh my goodness me. The roads are so steep they actually can carve out steps into them for the pedestrians. Whew. It was so steep that the, uh, the bike was wanted, wanted to do backflips. Yep. I had to lean right forward over the front to stop it going backwards. It's a bit over my head. Mega steep. Think how I feel. You've got more weight on the front than me. Brain. Yes, of course. <laughs> This is where you need a 360 camera. How impressive is this? Stunning. And we're all alone, very peaceful. Oh, 
but apparently on the, the map is showing a refuge further up so we might be on for refreshments i'm ignoring that comment because every time you say it doesn't happen just do a little pan around babes because you can't it's just amazing you need to see it all the way Just listen to that sound. I can hear waterfalls. And nothing else. There's a mighty waterfall up there. Right from the top. Just this last section is getting a bit tricky. <laughs> Coming. <laughs> we've, been follow we've been following the same track all the way, but suddenly it's got some really big boulders, but I think we can just make our way on the <laughs> right hand side of this. Boulder too far, babe. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there's a parking sign up there, so it's not far. Oh, should we go on this graph bit? I don't have the heart to tell her, actually. This was the proper route. We were actually trying to get up the riverbed, which is obviously kind of dry at the moment. She'll find out when I do the video, but that'll be a few months away yet. There's the bar. Well and truly shut. Washing still there. <laughs> and we've arrived back. Yay! Yeah. Managed to get some food, some supplies from the shop because we were running very low yesterday. So, what were the stats then today? Scores on the doors. It's uh, 22 miles, sorry, 20.2 miles, uh, 1,350 feet of elevation. The current elevation is 3,321 feet. We're high. That's quite high. Yeah, we are high. Yeah, so yeah, good, really good ride. Beautiful. I love seeing all the mountains and the snow at the very top. Gorgeous, isn't it? Nice ride. Some little difficult bits in there again, Barney. Yep. The Barney special came into it. But now <laughs> we're going to get changed and we're going to go into town and hopefully this time we will get our tapas. Oh! In a very rustic bar. And we've managed to find tapas. Not sure how well we've ordered, but here's our first one. The croquettes. Yeah, cheese and ham. Wanted a jug of sangria. Got a glass. We need to work on that one, don't we? Pop. Yay! First one, good. I think we've done quite well. Big smile. <laughs> Fabulous. Did this delight. 
And the potato, is that, is that spicy? Tasty. Morning! Morning! <laughs> so, today we are hiking and uh, we are going to hike up there. Maybe not quite to the very top, who knows. But uh, yeah, it's going to be one big climb. You ready for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Born ready, you're supposed to say. Born ready! <laughs> It's going to feel a lot different walking back up these steps later. It's like a crawling. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention last night, after our dinner, I did decide to order a gin. Panicked, thinking I might be sleeping in the garage tonight because after that 10 euro gin before. How much did you pay? Well, all I'm saying is like one euro fifty. What a bargain. <laughs> what was mine? 10 euros. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a triple. Huge, sheer terror in my face as it arrived. It was big on quantity and low on cost. The opposite way round to the last one. Five euros fifty. Get in. <laughs> it's typical. The day we decide to do this hike, there's a, a ten k race running in the opposite direction. That's just us all over. <laughs> the terrain has got a little bit more rugged now. We've left the runners on their track. All alone. Oh, it's definitely cooler, hasn't it? I've actually seen frost. Yeah, it is really cold actually. Frosty grass. That is how cold it is. <sighs> yes, it is live. No. Bears? Probably. Oh god, are we ending bears? I've got no idea. Why are they still on the route though? I have no idea. Oh, that's a bit naughty. Did you actually touch it then? No. Both live? I can see the... Uh, How did you get your rocks up through? Just bend over. Oh, I always get the nimble. You're the nimble one, not me. Just this way. That's it. Oh. <laughs> This doesn't happen very often, but we're going to abandon the walk. It is so cold here and uh, we've got a lot further to go and it's very, very remote. So and there is a lot of poo and we're not sure if it's bear poo. Yeah. <laughs> what? It probably is bear poo. I think it is. It is known for brown bears around here. So, um, yeah, I just think maybe we should just head back, don't you? Yeah. I've already done my full kit, look, leggings, everything's on, shorts have come off. Morning! Morning! So today we are walking up there to see the waterfalls. We're at the end of the Piñata Valley, which we saw a few days ago on our bikes. Couldn't do the walk as well as biking here. So we've brought Katie here, parked up for the day. There's no overnight parking either of motorhomes and it was three euros to park for the day. Right, let's do it. <laughs> So this walk I am excited about. Yesterday we didn't really have a focal point, anything to kind of go looking for, but today there's lots of beautiful waterfalls to look for. There is. Super excited. We're actually going to Cascades de Larry first and we're gonna go a circular route and come back and hopefully come back down this way back to the motorhome. It's not too bad. I know it's getting cold now. Oh, that's oh, quite icy. Oh.
fiery red, orange and amber. I love water. Two routes up. Easy. Easy and quick. And quick seems to be hard, obviously, because it's going straight up. As you can guess, we're taking the hard. You can see the shortcut we've just done there. We wouldn't feel this comfortable walking through the cows in the UK, would we? Here in the Alps, not the Alps, here in the Pyrenees and in the Alps as well. They're also docile and friendly. Uh, they're friendly, but they're very docile. And that's where we're heading and it feels like a good place to have lunch. We've actually got the whole place to ourselves. Delicious homemade sandwiches. Made by your fair self. Yes, it is. And it's just beautiful. Nobody around. Love it. Maybe jump. The horses here are wild and you just never know what's going to come up out from behind a bush. Especially when Michelle's trying to scare them off. Yeah, I think, I think they'd run a mile rather than uh, us run a mile when they see Michelle. <laughs> These mountains here go up to 3,200 metres. That is pretty high. I guess this is fun when it's in full flow. Bit of safety going on there to stop being washed over the edge. It yeah, it's not, not dangerous at the moment. No, do you think it does get rid of it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Look, we've got stepping stones. Uh, these uh, put dovetail stepping stones to shame. <laughs> <laughs> on these, you get it wrong, you die. Dovetail, you just get wet. Oh, I 
Do you, I did not even see that. <gasps> oh! nearly at the end of the walk. I've got to say that has to go down as in the book of the all-time greats. Yep, totally agree. It was tremendous, spectacular, and I absolutely loved it because it's the autumn with the colours of the trees. Just not your thing so much, you were all the waterfalls. The waterfalls are beautiful. <laughs> I just love the colours of the trees and the leaves. And, oh, oh, the waterfalls were amazing. <laughs> I mean, it was only seven miles, the walk, or seven or eight miles, but uh, quite steep in places. But it's definitely worth doing and I think it's not quite as well known as the Tour of Edisa Cola Calabra walk that we did a few years ago now. It's less busy so if you want to come somewhere just as spectacular but not so many people this is a place to come. Don't know how it's going to be in a few years though so come soon. <laughs>